Hello everybody and welcome to the final of the Brazilian Rio de Janeiro State Championship. It's episode 80 where we have the opportunity to win our second trophy as part of the Vasco da Gama backroom team. Of course we have, um, it's been an extremely long journey, one of the most bizarre tournaments you're ever likely to play. It is of course the Rio State Championship. We've had so many games in it and it all comes down to this, the second leg of the f of the championship final it was 1-1 in the first leg we'll show you the goals in uh, a moment but we also have brazilian cup action as well the former uh, runners up fortaleza are there and um, see how they get on but uh, our record against botafogo is okay but at, at recent times it hasn't been particularly good so we've won 12 times they've won seven but the draw in the most recent one has been a disappointment we should have won it but this is the team I'm entrusting to get the job done. Uh, injuries are uh, starting to creep in a little bit. Daniel Guedes has bruised his head. He cannot play. So Matthews will be pretty tired heading into this one. Oswaldo Alfredo and Magales are all recovering. Um, we should hopefully have a full strength squad in time for the um, Flamengo game where everything kicks off. But uh, remember, we're going for the quadruple, and the best way to get that started is to win your local championship, where we started all the way back in February, and it arrives at this point. Uh, the Brasileirao has kicked off as well, we'll mention that after the game. So it started all the way up here against Resende, we demolished them, and then we only suffered defeats against Botafogo, which was a horror show, to be honest, but that seemed to be a one-off affair. Uh, we also lost to Flamengo, but since then we've been pretty much bulletproof. Um, we cannot say we don't deserve a shot at the uh, defense of this title. So um, I'm pretty proud of the players and how they've done. So I uh, will just review from the very beginning and then we'll show you the goals. So the first stage, um, we won all eight of our games. That was truly special. We uh, dominated everything in that affair, but then we lost twice in the second stage which is understandable, but we're never going to be knocked out um, as a result. The relegation playoff, uh, I haven't checked that out properly. Um, so, Bo Vista and Nova Igukao, Igaku, uh, Iguaku, sorry, uh, they are both uh, relegated and they probably deserve it. They haven't been good enough uh, in the championship this season. Then in the championship semi-final, we beat Fluminense and Botafogo got a massive result against Flamengo. But then we'll now head into the final and show you those goals. Uh, Evander in the first minute and Loran in the 85th minute. Quite uh, bizarre to say the least, but we'll show you the highlights right now. And uh, no sooner did the game kick off against Botafogo that we scored the opening goal. Batista, all on his own here, looked up, find Carlos, found Carlos Matius and Evander with the simplest of finishes. It gave us the dream start, but unfortunately we were unable to hold on. They were battering our goal after having no shots in any point in the first half. It was a beautiful goal for Loran, his first of the season, and he used to play for Vasco, which makes it all the worse. So it's a very open tie uh, you know, for both teams, but the rules state that to be the champion after a tie... Uh, the higher seeded team will win if we're level after 90 minutes and that means that if we can hold on to the draw then we will win the title based on our performance in the second stage where we came in third place and uh, Botafogo came fourth so that means we will be champions if we hold on to the draw but they will be going for the victory this time they were uh, totally rubbish in the first half. I cannot explain how poor they were, but inevitably uh, they came out all guns blazing in the second and uh, we couldn't hold on. Uh, the pressure just got too much, but we're back to the Maracanã and we're going to try and defend the Rio State Championship and that'll definitely be something to add to my CV. It's not a valuable tournament, but it means so much to the locals. They love uh, getting uh, the bragging rights against their rivals. So the team I've named to play against Botafogo today will be Bernal, Carlos Matthews, who didn't get any rest at all from the last game, Vinicius, Sosa, Ivo, Centurion, Leandro, Marcao, Nildo, Cipriano and Leonardo getting a rare chance after all his injury problems. The bench is pretty stacked, but I'll definitely be thinking about Barrios. He 
could have played in attacking mid, but I decided against it. They've gone for the standard 4-1-2-1-2 diamond, and uh, we'll be very wary of that. We don't want to be conceding the goals to Loran again. Uh, Fernandez pushed a little bit further forward. We'll uh, deal with them now. But Loran is actually a pretty poor player, so to get that kind of quality shot from him, it should be savoured by the management of Botafogo. But let's just see how fit these guys are. Yeah, that's pretty good, and they're, they're well rested. They've got Casemiro in defensive mid, of course, and then Loran will be closing him uh, down, this time learning our lesson. So can we hang on? Can we withstand the pressure of being the holders and get this victory for our fans at the Maracanã? And uh, one last performance before the Brasilia route kicks off in only four days' time for us. That's uh, quite something to ask for, but this is the first main hurdle of the season and we'll want to uh, pass it with flying colours so without further ado it's time for kickoff here we go yeah, and there we go it's Botafogo getting the kickoff so by hook and by crook they shouldn't be conceding inside the 20 seconds that we saw Vasco achieve in the first legs there we go no highlights in the first few minutes so I'll just say uh, get a little bit creative see what we can do Neil Dow to Leandro excellent spreading of the play Carlos Matthews who got that assist against Botafogo previously no no dice this time around Neil Dow should look up to Ivo he does and there's a beautiful ball Leonardo he scored for the very first time and that is magnificent it's advantage to Vasco and Botafogo have not been studying their footage from the first game and that is their own bloody fault so I do not have any sympathy for them but will they respond in double quick time? No, Loran trying his luck again but that shot went wide but thank goodness Leonardo has had his time in the spotlight he's had it so so hard in the first period of the season with all these injuries and stuff but now here we go again perhaps no Fernandez to Aleph, shoots low, and that was another opportunity for Botafogo. It was the failure uh, to hit the target, actually. Candido, the manager there, Paul Pozo, is on his, uh, he's crouching in just stress, I suppose. But now Tanke gets behind Vinicius, but the keeper was the last line of defense, and he was brilliant. So now, can we get our second shot of the game in only 50 minutes? Marco Cipriano tries for his 10th of the season, but that's not going to beat their keeper. And it's certainly end-to-end -end this time. Uh, we might go flexible and stick to positions. We'll have that uh, work out. Here we go. Neil Dahl again! 2-0 to Vasco. And this is ridiculous from Botafogo. They are not marshalling the players in the cr in, after a cross and it could be a deserved two in a row for the Voyagers. I forget their proper nickname. It's in Brazilian Portuguese and I'll have to try and remember it. But now it's an unmarked Nildo in the box and he could go to the far post with Cipriano heading with no one to challenge him. But again, the keeper had his positioning absolutely bang on. Centurion over to Matthews, perhaps no. Oh, he got it straight back. Good man, showing that desire. He's been capped for Argentina, of course. Neil Dow! Oh, that would have sealed the deal. It would have been impossible for Botafogo to score four times from such a dismal position. But now, a counter-attack may have begun there and then, but it's not to be. But my God, what a performance. We didn't see this in the first leg after giving it up so soon. And that's another magnificent save by Andre. He's the only man showing desire to win this game for Botafogo. And when you're the goalkeeper, you really need to trust your outfielders. You can see some really mediocre uh, scores for the Botafogo players. We'll look at that properly in the second half. But that's excellent. Really, really good. So we'll just say I'm happy. And, uh, of course, if we concede three goals, we lose. If we concede twice and secure the draw, we still win. So I'm confident of our chances. But knowing me and cup finals, it can never go so smoothly unless it is, of course, Chesterfield in the FA Cup. So everybody has done reasonably well. Um, uh, props, of course, go to the goal scorers, Leonardo and Marquinhos Cipriano. Um, so everyone has been uh, prepped and ready to go. We'll go standard 
now and begin the second half in double quick time. The passing has been pretty poor, the crossing has done its job even though we've only had 13% of them hit their man. And uh, the throw in has been converted into a corner, Vinicius on the line but it doesn't matter. Marquinhos Cipriano is one of the best little poachers I've seen and he's a right winger. 3-0. That is uh, finito as far as I'm concerned. Botafogo have not shown up and we are getting a uh, savoury revenge on them tonight. It's a one-way show and uh, it's a real shame for Vinicius. It would be lovely to see him on the score sheet. But uh, we can't be too greedy when we're 3-0 up. Aleph cuts inside. Quintero return to Aleph. A bit slow with the closing down. And it was never going to be that easy. Tanke has got one back and um, we just have to concentrate for a little bit was he a substitution no he was not he's been on the field since the beginning and uh, they are bringing on their subs uh, subs now so we'll be doing the same for him he'll be celebrating all night long I'm sure but I hope every player gets a medal for this tournament it's been a great success as far as I'm concerned and it will be heartbreaking to see the players who I couldn't put on the bench not receive a medal but now Loran all the way to the back post and that's a Quintero quagmire he hit that way into the sky and Barrios with his first corner of the night finds an unmarked Neil Doe and maybe the youngster should have been uh, alert to a teammate Vinicius at the far post this time no can do Kalike or Kaike is their last substitute um, after taking down their thingy so we'll bring that back and now uh, the pressure remains on Cardoso it's another save from Bernal and it might be time to go defensive uh, we have to avoid conceding three times and that was off the woodwork from Botafogo I heard the clatter of the post and that's the road to the quadruple uh, certainly the first stop it will be uh, of glory but we'll have to try and win the Copa Libertadores next and then it'll be a matter of trying to regain the league title and uh, defending the uh, Copa do Brasil. Uh, that was Leonardo trying to slip in behind the last man. Not going to happen when the uh, man can jump like that. Ivo does get a header, but it's going to be a threat. Xavier just needs to clear it. What can he do? Oh, lovely. Barrios is unmarked. And that, oh, that could have been the goal of goals there. What a pass from Barrios. And will he try it again? No. Benavan to Xavier. The triangle of substitutes getting uh, working together. Barrios does get a cross in. It wasn't in the box though. Leonard, Leandro picks it up. And he'll try again with Barrios. With a back heel. Xavier just needs to cut inside and cross. But he decides against the pass. Tried a shot. Didn't work. And I'm really happy with this performance. We just have two minutes. One minute. And now stoppage time to go, and that is everything. Bar the shouting, out the, out will go the ball. You can see it's a muted celebration, but there is a trophy to be celebrated for Vasco da Gama. We are the Rio de Janeiro state champions again, and that is the first time in many years that these lads have defended the title and. Uh, that is absolutely brilliant. Flamengo, perhaps not the dominant force they have been in the past. But Vasco da Gama showing their mettle. They have won the title again. And that was totally deserved. It was a failure of Botafogo's part to realise what they did wrong in the first leg. And we ripped them to pieces as a result. The defence of the corner in the second half was particularly awful. They still had a way back into the match. And that was how they did it by uh, defending uh, so poorly but anyway that is so satisfying I can say I've won two trophies uh, in Brazil and technically I've never lost a title so uh, the one tournament I had any chance of winning I won it the uh, first title I had a chance of winning from the beginning and I won it so that sends us into a very good habit but anyway let's just see if my reputation has improved no, it's such a meaningless title in the grand scheme of things. But I'm absolutely uh, over the moon to win my second uh, championship in Brazil. Um, 
that uh, is absolutely class and you can see my uh, winning record is 30 games won 10 games drawn and five lost now uh, of course it's been so easy in the uh, real estate championship that uh, you know we can hardly say um, we deserved um, all those wins but you know that's just the way it is and now the season truly begins we play Flamengo uh, on Saturday and then River Plate on Wednesday in Gallardo Park 58,000 seater stadium that is going to be super super hard where we can only hope that River Plate don't have a chance they've lost a recent game but then they play those guys near the bottom of the table before the preparation so let's just see uh, the uh, story we get 955,000 euros that's awesome um, there you go you can see all my lovely wins uh, the cream of Irish managers I'm the greatest of all time uh, fantastic and I've only really won four trophies like that's pretty poor to say the least Liam Buckley of course in second place and Stephen Kenny will probably be the best of all time if he wins the title with Dundalk one more time um, but there we go by virtue of winning the Super League in China the National First Division in South Africa and now the Brazilian Cup and the real estate title with Vasco that makes me the best Irish man in the database and that is awesome uh, so we've won that twice in a row delighted uh, confidence with the board is is uh, very impressive Marquinhos Cipriano man of the match um, we qualify for the Brazilian Cup like I'd be worried if we weren't in that tournament and uh, we got 490,000 euros back as well so we're starting to get uh, profits which is uh, outstanding um, we have press conference to take um, let me see, yeah, so that's pretty much everything in the episode. I'm, I'm just trying to make heads and tails out of all of this. But my reputation perhaps has made a little bit of a gain at 40%, but my star ratings have not improved, so perhaps my uh, my standing at the club hasn't changed too much. Like, Let me see the uh, job security. Yeah, job value is low, like they could sack me, but uh, as far as I'm aware, I have it until 2026. So there we go, everybody. Uh, we'll see you for the River Plate games. Uh, they are absolutely humongous in the uh, in the balance of the season, and uh, we really, really uh, want to get off to a best possible start against the rainy champions in the Brasileira. But we'll have to just wait and see. But then we play some of the more uh, unusual teams around the country, like Figueirense, Club Sport, and Palmeiras. So the first division after the first set of games looks like this and uh, it's disappointment for Palmeiras on the opening day they lost to Bahia, Sao Paulo lost to Fortaleza and uh, Fluminense got the victory against Nautico and then Flamengo already have a win against Cruzeiro so their standing in this league should be very very uh, in intimidating so thank you very much uh, that is absolutely the final saying of my second trophy in part of the uh, uh, Brazilian chapter of the Pentagon Challenge and we'll see you for the uh, Copa Libertadores, the one we need to win most of all. Bye for now.